Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Mr. B Cooks. Subscribers, you know I appreciate you checking back. And you new viewers, you guys should become subscribers. You'll get great recipes like this guy. Tonight, we are making a slow cooker meatball soup. Jumping right in here, I got some kale. You could use any kind of uh, fresh green that you want to, to uh, add to your meatball. I'm not using any breadcrumbs or any eggs. Uh, and I have two pounds of ground beef. And all we're gonna do is just combine those initially together. And the, the kale's been chopped, as you can see. It's pretty, pretty good rough chop. Um, just a little mix. And then for the spices, I'm going to start adding in my spice mix right here, which is some onion, uh, half a cup, and a tablespoon of chopped garlic, and then um, some thyme, some marjoram, some garlic powder, and some onion powder. Each of those are one tablespoon. And I also have a half teaspoon of sea salt that you can't see under there, uh, and a half teaspoon of black pepper that you can see right there. So all that goes in. Make sure we want to get all that in because we want to have a good flavorful meatball. Now, uh, use this to break it up a little bit. What we're going to do is I'll get this thoroughly combined and then I'll show you how we're going to start rolling. So we'll see you soon as I get this combined up. As you can see, I've rolled these uh, into meatballs and they're very tight. you got to keep them tight. Uh, and I'd say they're maybe a ping pong, but probably a little smaller than that. We're going to let those sit for a second and get over here to the soup side. Uh, in the slow cooker crock pot, I've got uh, 56 ounces of crushed Tomatoes, just straight out of a can, so two 28-ounce cans. I've got some onion here and some garlic minced up and then a bunch of spices. We'll put that in the description uh, for you so you have all the quantities. Get that mix. Gentle mix. All right. Uh, this is two heads of broccoli that I've just broken down into nice little florets. Two zucchinis that I've quartered and then chopped up, and then one heart of celery that I've uh, chopped down as well. And you're welcome to make those as small as you want, just to add a nice little bit of crunch to the soup. Um, although they'll be tender, so it won't be, you know, like a raw vegetable. All right, with that, now I'm going to start adding some beef stock to fill this up. And I'm not going to give you a measurement on this because... You just do it until it's full. Leave it enough room for the space for the meatballs. And if we have to add more, we will. All right, so let's give this a nice mix so that we get everything combined. Now, you are more than welcome to make your meatballs with eggs and breadcrumbs and whatever you want to use to hold it together. That's what the eggs and the breadcrumbs are doing. Since I'm not, you just got to make sure that we're gentle when we put these in. And we're just gonna drop them in and then we'll let them. All right, so all the meatballs are in. I'm adding some more stock because I want this as full as possible because I'm gonna let this cook overnight. Uh, so I wanna make sure I've got plenty of liquid in here. But also I want to cover the meatballs. I'll give this another stir. Um, other than that, this needs to cook for four hours on low. Or I'm sorry, six to eight hours on low. Um, and then you can just let it go to warm, which is what I'm gonna do tonight. And then we'll be eating this tomorrow for dinner. So I'm gonna set this for eight hours and then just let it warm till tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, we are back. It's the next day and it's been about, I don't know, 15 to maybe nine, 18 hours. So let's check her out. Now I will say that uh, this was stirred a couple times in the day, but you can see the meatballs are are definitely done. Some of them have broken apart and that's okay. Let's scoop some up. And like I said, this is as easy as it gets. There you go, serve it with um, maybe some oyster crackers or something like that, or maybe top it with some cheese or some sour cream. Whatever floats your boat. You know the drill, give this a shot. Let me know your alterations or substitutions. Otherwise, subscribe, share, like, comments down below. Check back for the next video, and as always, take care. Peace.